Hi, everyone. I'm Josh Brown, Executive Director of the Puget Sound Regional Council. I'm catching up with leaders across the region to hear more about their top priorities and challenges. Today, I'm talking with Mayor Bill Pugh of the great city of Sumner, also known as the rhubarb pie capital of the world, in case you don't Josh, know. Josh, got it right. All right. <laughs> mayor Pugh was elected mayor in 2017 and previously served as the city's public works director. Prior to that, he had a distinguished career working at the city of Tacoma as a public works leader uh, in, for that community. He's an active member of the PSRC executive board. Thank you, Mayor, for joining me today. So last year, the PSRC General Assembly adopted Vision 2050. And of course, that's our regional growth strategy. We're projecting about 1.7 million residents coming to the Puget Sound region by 2050. You had a strong role in development of Vision 2050 serving on the PSRC Executive Board. And of course, you're from a, a, a city that is really renowned for having a great quality of life, a small town feel, but you're also a community that is right on the Sounder commuter line. So figuring out how to balance growth while keeping the things that folks love about Sumner is, is a pretty big challenge. So maybe share some perspectives of how Sumner is trying to plan for growth and, and balance the needs for growing a region while protecting your great quality of life. It, it, it has been it has been a challenge. And, and one thing I've noticed as people have moved into town is that we're becoming a draw for the younger generation. Uh, and and you know, people moved in across the street from me and I asked him, why'd you move down here? Because you're in a nice, beautiful new house in this, you know, uh, subdivision outside the city. Oh, we moved into it because we felt safer. Uh, we enjoyed the walkability. We're close to schools. People stop and talk and visit. Okay, so you have that dynamic going on, which is our neighborhoods and wanting to maintain that same character. But as you say, Josh, we're on a sounder line. You know, uh, we have to accommodate, you know, a, a, a fair portion of that of that growth. And, and so, actually, the efforts by the city council and staff started before we even came out with you know, with, with that, you know, regional growth plan, because we were looking at our town center plan and we said, wait a minute, instead of being a sounder station where everybody drives to it and parks there and then goes to jobs in the region, we should have increased density around that sounder station and accommodate growth that way. So, Staff proposed and council unanimously adopted a town center plan, which calls for increased density, both in terms of height and, 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 and apartments and for the town center uh, uh, around the Sounder station. And uh, it will not only benefit, you know, and protect our single family neighbor, neighborhoods and, and, and accommodate growth, but it also will then help support an historic downtown which is sort of our heart and soul, you know, of Sumner. So there, there's all kinds of benefits for doing that. So, you know, one of the things I'm paying attention to a lot is housing affordability in the region, which is a real challenge. It's a crisis. And of course, it's not just a, a Seattle or a King County challenge anymore. This is, this is a problem that's regional in scope. I was really impressed with the city of Sumner recently teaming up with the city of Bonnie Lake to develop a housing action plan. Uh, it's pretty special having that type of coordination amongst neighboring communities. Can you share a little bit more about what you learned about that effort? One is to try to preserve the existing affordable housing stock. We still have to figure out how to do that because it's requires some help from the city in terms of funding to be able to do that. Uh, include more incentives for building new rental housing, such as the multifamily tax exemption. Right now, we only carry that in our town center plan. We need to expand that you know, city, city, citywide. Um, we need to provide for a broader range of different types of housing units, uh, such as accessory dwelling units. We are a member of SHAPE, okay? And what is SHAPE? South Sound Housing Affordability Partners. And that was an effort that was started out by Mayor Woodard's uh, uh, council member uh, Ladenberg and uh, Executive Dan Meyer that brought all the mayors together and say, we're, in my phrase, we're better together. Uh, let's join together and throw 
our efforts together to provide affordable housing anywhere. I don't care where it is. It could be in Sumner, but it could be in Puyallup. It could be in Bonnie Lake. We need to work together as a team. So we're a member of that partnership and we're committed to working across jurisdictions to address the issue. And I think eventually that's gonna have a lot, a lot of dividends. Pretty amazing, great job. So we gotta talk about transportation. And of course, PSRC has been really pleased to be a funding partner for a number of important transportation projects in, in the city of Sumner. Tell us a little bit about some of the projects underway and, and things to look forward to. I'll tell you what, PSRC has been a lifesaver. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, you, you know, we're a small jurisdiction, we can't do it ourselves. So we really rely on uh, funding, you know, regionally uh, that we get through PSRC or whether it's freight mobility, uh, transportation improvement board. Um, I mean, they're the only way we can get things done. I mean, Sumner's in a in one of those positions to where, um, and again, we talked about where jobs are and where housing is, and we have a jobs imbalance with more jobs north, and we have the housing affordability, so we have a lot of housing that is south of us. Well, people have to drive back and forth and get to one another, and Sumner happens to be in the middle of it. And so we end up with a significant amount of traffic in the evenings and in the morning, you know, going through Sumner. So uh, staff has done an incredible job uh, completing a, a couple different projects, or actually more than that, but in particular was the Traffic Avenue Interchange. You know, it was the gateway into Sumner. It was the gateway to the Sounder Station. It was actually a gateway into Puyallup, into the whole South Hill area. And it's a state interchange. And so we took it on as a project and actually completed that project through the pandemic and freed up that whole corridor to the benefit of Sumner, to the benefit of our manufacturing industrial center, you know, right. which relies on, and to the benefit of Puyallup and the whole, and the whole South Hill. So that was one major, major accomplishment. And so those are some great things that happened over the last year, but boy, do we have some challenges ahead of us. Uh, and one of the major bridges that we have is the Stewart Street Bridge, which provides access from 167 over through the MIC, which we share with City of Pacific Manufacturing Industrial Center. Sorry, you get away from the acronyms. And then on up the hill to the to Lakeland Hills in Auburn and, and that whole complex and a large population. And uh, that project is part of a larger project that we have, which is called the White River Restoration Project. And, and it, what ha what's happened is over the years is the White River, you know, has filled with sediment that's coming down off of Mount Rainier, and it is reducing the capacity of that river to carry the water and the flows. And as you get north of the Manufacturing Industrial Center, the White River heads right down towards our MIC and basically uh, provided a threat to over a billion dollars in assessed valuation of property in that area. And we're gonna be changing that into both flood protection and habitat for endangered species and critical species that, that we have. Uh, so we've been working in concert with both the Muckleshoot Indian Tribe and the Puyallup Tribe of Indians as partners, Cascade Water Alliance, Burlington Northern Santa Fe that wants to put, I think around seven new sightings in that area, all in a partnership to completely revamp that area into flood protection and into habitat, you know, for, you know, for salmon. Mayor Pugh, this has been fantastic. I can't thank you enough for sharing your insights and for all your leadership. Uh, I won't say how many years, uh, both uh, <laughs> at the staff level as an elected official, but you've just been one of the, the good ones. And uh, I just can't thank you enough for the, your approach to public service and the difference that you've made is, is just not measurable. It's too immense. So thanks for all that you do. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in person sometime soon. Thank you for everything you're doing, Josh. I appreciate your leadership at PSRC. It's incredible. Oh, thank you. We'll see you soon, my friend. Okay, likewise. Bye-bye.